PC Crash 11.1 has a bunch of new 3D graphic enhancements. So you can see here some vehicles loaded in just as it would have been in PC Crash 11 and earlier. Uh, first of all, if you want to switch between views, if you save cameras, you can see that it has a nice little animation in the transition between views, which is kind of cool. Uh, but there, the main uh, enhancement is the addition of uh, shadows and reflections. So if I go to my uh, display options in the 3D view, you can see that I have uh, the ability to calculate shadows here. Just gonna apply that. So now you can see that there are shadows under the vehicle from my light source. I'll have more on that in another video. But if I go back in the 2D window under the colors, uh, you'll see under the 3D model, I have the ability to cast, receive, and uh, shadows and show reflections. So you see right now, you can break down the vehicle into a whole bunch of different parts. So right now we're not getting any shadows on the glass, but everything else receives shadows. So I'm just gonna apply. So that's true for both vehicles by default. So, for example, if this is a Lotus were to be under the other side of the truck, it would be in the shadows. But if uh, go back to those display options, you can see, oh, sorry, not display options in the uh, vehicle settings go back to simulation, I mean the uh, colors, 3D model, we have show reflections. So I'm just going to enable reflections for both vehicles. So you see, as soon as I did that, now there's a bunch of interesting stuff happening. You can do it for the Ford as well. So again, under the 3D model, just show reflections. So now as I move my camera on, you can actually see the sky texture is uh, showing up in the windows. And you see on the wheel well there, a little shiny bit, very clean truck. Here, let's hop over to here. As these vehicles move, you see reflections, even in the glass Got a couple of light sources in this scene. So if I just play my animation, flip to my other camera. So you can even see the reflection of one vehicle in the other vehicle. There we are. See, we can see the reflection of the Lotus in the pickup. And there are reflections of all the tire marks. And you can see the truck in the side of the Lotus and some of the tire marks being left. So that will do a bit of a hit on the graphics processing because there's a lot more to do, but it really makes the vehicles look a lot more interesting. So again, Reflections and Shadows, new in PC Crash 11.1.